Hi, I'm Shannon from HouseImprovements.com and today I just want to show you how I would uh, reduce the size of this window opening so that we can install a smaller new window into it. Uh, so this obviously doesn't entail having to worry about dealing with changing the header or any, any major structural changes because we're going smaller and staying within the uh, existing opening which already has a header. Um, it's a good idea just to uh, you know, make some marks on the wall, figure everything out ahead of time, and then just draw yourself a little bit of a sketch of all the uh, different framing members that you're going to need to incorporate. And that way you can uh, have a bit of a plan when it comes time to cut everything. I'm just going to set this out of the way. Um, we've got our opening here, I don't know, it's about uh, it's 57 inches by 41 inches. Uh, rough opening and we're reducing the window down to 32 inches wide by uh, 34 I believe inches tall so it's going to be a considerable change and plus the new window is offset in the hole so it's off to this end so we you know figured everything out ahead of time uh, as far as cutting the framing and, and figuring that all out uh, if you need help with that you can refer to our framing video that you can find on our YouTube channel so we're not going to go too far into detail with the actual cutting everything. Um, in fact, I've got most of the frame already built and ready to pop into the hole. So today we're mostly going to deal with actually just filling that hole in, getting the plywood on the outside. So uh, one of the first things I want to do is uh, because I've made this frame, most of the pieces are in it, not quite all of them, but most of them are in it. I've got a lot of it pre-made. I just wanted to quickly fit it into the hole just to be sure that it is going to fit beforehand. Um, it will be a little bit short from the top and I'll show you why in a few minutes. So I'm just going to stand this in and be sure that it's going to fit. And it looks like we aren't going to have too much trouble. There's going to be another framing member here, another one over there and one across the top. Uh, I've left most all of those ones out because uh, I need room to fasten this frame in and I need them out to do that. So I'm going to pull this down, set it to the side for right now. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I want to install a piece across the top of the opening. So it's going to go right to the bottom of the header all the way across. And before I do that, I want to seal between where the new material goes to the old material just to stop any drafts. So I'll put a bead of uh, caulking up here. out near the perimeter and then I'll put that piece in place okay so we've got that I'm going to use my cordless framing nailer to put this in place so when I put this in what I want to do uh, something also worth mentioning I guess is uh, you want to obviously be using the same size material that uh, is already existing in the wall. So in this case we've got 2 by 4 wall with 3 8 plywood on the outside. Um, so 3 8 thick. So you just want to use the same stuff. When I put this in I'm going to put this face flush with the inside face of the existing framing. So I'll slide that up in there. I'm just tapping it back until I'm flush and I'm happy with it. I'm going to Put one nail in the end. And I'm just going to simply do that going uh, across the uh, edge there. Looks pretty good there, just working my way along. So I'm going to put two nails about every, every foot or so. I'm just making sure that that's up tight. So it's embedded in that caulking that we put up there. Okay, so we've got that, that top piece in. Now I can run the caulking around on the bottom and the sides so that I can put that main framework in that you've seen me test fit. Uh, now I've got some marks on the old wood so I know where to start and stop because that bottom plate didn't go right across the bottom. So I'll put this bead, like I said, this is just to keep 
really to keep drafts from blowing in where the old meets the new. Okay, so we've got that. I'm going to stick this in place. Oh, we had it in here once. Why is it not? There we go. And again, I'm just positioning it so that the inside face is flush to the uh, old existing inside face. And where did I put my nailer? Right here. And then we'll be able to tack it in place. So I'm going to start right down in this corner, right out to the edge. And nail that in. And you can see that's why there's supposed to be another stud here, and I didn't put it in yet so that I could get in here to nail. And I'll just continue moving up the wall. Just like that. Now, same thing on the bottom here. And this leg as well. I'm just going to swing around outside. Coming out here to push in a little bit. Wood's a little bit crooked, so I just got to get pushed in far enough to get us all flushed up like that. And obviously, I don't have to nail the top because we've got that other piece going across there. So now I can come back in and fill in the couple studs that are missing. One was here. Get it all lined up with the marks I had. And toe nail it into position. And we've just got one over here. Let it cut just a hair short, but it'll work. Like that. And I'm going to screw the you could have used screws for this whole thing if you wanted. It's not a structural framework, so. I'm gonna screw the bottom just because we've got such a small block here. If I nail it with that thing, it's likely gonna split. Where it seems if you screw it, it's usually okay. Like so. Okay, I've got to get one more nail outside. Actually, I can probably get it from here. Just like that. Okay, so you can see we're getting closer to being where we want to be. We've got our rough opening and we've got all our, our framework in place. Now we've got to go to the outside and put the actual sheathing on. Uh, as far as the insulation and the vapor barrier, obviously, uh, We've got more work to do here on the inside, so I'm not going to show it on this video, but we do have other videos pertaining to that. So if you need help with that part, just refer to those videos. Okay, so we spun around to the outside here. Um, first thing I'm going to do out here before we put the sheathing on is you may have some uh, black building paper or house wrap sticking out where the old window was on the old sheathing. We're going to cut that off 
to give you a, a surface to uh, put your house wrap onto when you go to do the house wrap. We aren't gonna cover that in this video because I do have another video that shows that. So you can refer to that for uh, doing your house wrap. Just gotta get this little strip out of there. It just exposes the old plywood. So you have a lip there to put the uh, old, old the, the new house wrap to. So we've got our uh, 3 8 thick uh, plywood already pre-cut. We're just gonna simply stand it right in place. Have a look. Oh, it looks like I've actually cut it a little bit short, but that's all right, we'll put a little piece up there. It, may, it reaches to the framing, so that's the important part. It's not, the joint isn't out in the middle of nowhere. So we're just making sure it isn't overlapping onto the old stuff and we're gonna tack it into place. Okay, so, uh, so we've got that tack. Now what I'm gonna do is put nails uh, about every eight to 10 inches on all the framework around the perimeter and in the center stud as well. I'm just gonna measure over to find where this one was. We'll stick a few in that one. And our top edge. Okay, so we've got that side. Now I've uh, got a strip that goes across the top. You could cut this all out of one piece if you wanted to. I just uh, was down to a few odds and ends. Uh, looks like I'm a little bit... Your plywood up top is kind of hanging down in that one spot. So I'm gonna have to trim this piece. I'll, uh, I'll just zip in quick and trim that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I trimmed this piece down now, it fits all right. And I'm just gonna go around and uh, tack it or just temporarily get it in place. Just so that I can have a look, make sure everything's good. And now I can nail it off. And a side piece, hopefully it fits. Yeah, we should be good. So same thing, I'm just gonna nail it in place. Okay, just like so. And uh, while I was off trimming that last piece, I made up a little piece to fill in here. So it isn't uh, really necessary that this plywood meets up perfectly uh, tight. That's why we put that bead of caulking at the framing to seal it up for air leakage. Um, it's just to you know cover up the surface and uh, fill up most of the space. Obviously this is where our, our uh, newer window will go. And uh, I think we're gonna be all right for that. So now if I was going to install the window, I would refer to my window installation video. And I've got a, a couple, two or three different ones, uh, just depending on what style of window you're putting in. So whether you're doing a renovation in, a, in a, inside exa existing exterior finish or uh, whether you're using one with a renovation type brick mold or uh, maybe a nailing fin. So, the installation's similar, but not quite 100% the same, so just check them out depending on what type of window you have. I think that's about uh, all I can show you for this type of thing. And like I said, this was made a lot easier in the fact that we're making the window smaller than the existing one that was already there, so we didn't have to uh, deal with any structure. Maybe at some point we will have a chance to do one where we're 
actually increasing the size of the window so we've got to you know tear apart the inside wall rebuild the header or rebuild a new header and that sort of thing but for right now i don't uh, know if we're going to have one of those in the future or not so uh, anyways it's all completed here you can uh, check out us us on houseimprovements.com on our website uh, there's a forum there there's articles there a bunch of different things you can look around at and check out and you can also uh, see our youtube channel which you're already on right now Thanks for watching.